Auckland City, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Home to more than 1.2 million people, it is a thriving metropolis. But could it be possible that there is more to Auckland City than meets the eye? Is there a chance that it is home to more than just humans? Perhaps something otherworldly? We are here to find out the truth. This is Mysterious Universe. children survive uh, the idea of the uh, tooth fairy and Santa Claus when they become adult, I think that taxpaying citizens are quite capable of accepting the new and broader reality that we live in a cosmos teeming with life of various sorts. Some Chinese residents are on edge this morning after another apparent UFO sighting. All right, that's a UFO if I've ever seen one. Yeah, can you that's identify it? That's undeniable. I, I think that President Obama is well aware of this extraterrestrial presence. Aliens, UFOs, abductions. Some say these are far-fetched fantasies. Others would disagree. We decided to take to the streets to see what the public thought about the possibility that aliens are living among us. What do you think about the existence of aliens? Oh, I've met a few in my time. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't even think there is any, mate. Oh, it's for real? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Totally believe in UFOs. Um, fabulous. They visit me every day. No, I believe them, actually. Would you be scared by uh, the existence of aliens? Depends which ones come to visit. <laughs> not at all, not at all, not at all. Well, um, if you watch Independence Day, then, you know, clearly they're out to kill us all. But then on the other hand, they might, you know, they might just want to come and coexist. You've seen Monsters, Inc. Yeah, that's another great one. They're friendly. Uh, I catch a bus. Okay. Do you think they could potentially be living within Auckland City? Why not? I do say. There has to be. There has to be. Oh, definitely. 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 Yes. <laughs> There are a lot of things in this world that are unexplainable. Could they be attributed to aliens? We were beginning to get closer to the answers, but we needed the knowledge of somebody who had experienced aliens firsthand. Hello, my name is Rex, and I've had an alien encounter. So I was walking down the main road in Mount Albert, and I walked past this open field. Well, there's this figure just walking across, and at first it looked, it looked a little strange, but it didn't really look human. As I stared at it, it, it saw me looking and came straight towards me. Well, next thing I knew, I fell unconscious, woke up with a burnt taste in my mouth and no pants on. So it's just over here. I was just walking for it, it's out of the field. Yeah, so you just saw him out in those bushes over there. Just, just over there. He looked at me and I fell unconscious. And you said you lost your pants. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so I didn't actually find them. I spent hours looking for them. Oh, like the, the stone wash ones? Like, you just don't get those every day, mate. Mm. Great support. They just fitted perfectly. I love those jeans. The possibility of aliens living among us was only strengthened by Rex's claims. But we have reason to suspect that aliens have been infiltrating government institutions, such as schools, in order to spy on us. Warwick Gibbs claims he is a school teacher, but we believe he has been placed here to spy on our unsuspecting German, youth. Sometimes in the past Latin and music, so that's what I do, teach German. We do think that you are an alien and that you are working for um, you know, an alien organization in order to collect information on humans. And uh, we do actually have some conclusive evidence of you as an alien. Do you want to tell us about this? I would just argue that that is nothing more than photoshopping and denigrating my, my reputation at the school. Mm. Although I am rather old and perhaps if I had no clothes on I might look a little like that. Mm. So if you're not an alien, um, do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? Do I believe aliens exist? Yes. They could exist. But like, 
What do you think? Like, do you I think don't know that they exist. I just think it's a possibility. So they could? They could. Yes. Yes. If Gibbs was in fact an extraterrestrial, he would have needed some way to communicate with his home planet. And what better way than with the biggest communications tower in Auckland? We decided to ask Greg Moller, the architect behind it. Is it possible that aliens could be using this antenna to communicate with their home planet? Not that I'm aware. Do you believe in aliens? Um, no. So you don't believe there's a possibility that they're living in within Auckland City no, and using the Sky Tower? I don't say that. I'm just saying I'm not aware of any other communication other than what's on the tower using it. If Moller couldn't give us answers, we were going to have to ask somebody who gets spied on all the time. So we hit the road to visit Kim.com. We're on the way to the dot-com mansion today. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So uh, here we are, the mansion. Uh, Looking quite spectacular to be honest. Live my life. See, I just wanna live my life, my life. See, I just wanna live my life, my life. See, I just wanna live my life, my life. See, I just wanna live my life, my life. Don't wanna go to war. Know what happened before. Don't trust politics. Oh, Don't oh, lie you dirty tricks. Don't wanna play their game. Don't fit inside their frame. I just want to live my life. Unfortunately, we have a we have an interview opportunity here, but um, as you can see, I chose a bad time to get lunch. Um, I don't really want to sacrifice this hot dog, so. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to find another time. I was worried about heartburn, but I decided to risk it anyway. So obviously uh, there's a lot of interest in you from uh, certain ag agencies, you know, like you know, the US government and like spy ag agencies and things. Um, but lots of people overlook the fact that maybe extraterrestrials may have been yeah. <laughs> put into this. You know, what do you say that there is yeah. an existence of aliens and they could be <laughs> spying on you? <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm almost certain that there are aliens. If you look at the size of the known universe yeah. and you look at the amount of suns and at the amount of planets, planets that uh, circle those suns, it's very, very likely that there will be another planet like ours with life. <laughs> there could be a high chance of alien spying on you absolutely man okay <laughs> we are spying on the aliens you know what we have in Chile antennas yeah. oh. that are picking up all the signals from the from space I'm I bet you they do the same thing but if it's happening uh, from galaxies that are thousands of light years away I don't mind okay because my privacy is not intruded if they can't use it here okay no. did that work yeah that'd be great <laughs> cool good <That's> question cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Kim.com was able to give us some conclusive answers, but we had suspicions that this went all the way to the top. We needed to find out for ourselves. What do you believe are the key issues for Auckland City in 2014? Well, obviously we're pretty focused on uh, transportation. Um, in particular for jobs, we're looking for employment from our employers. The Auckland economy is lifting. You know, for me, it's about really getting our youth unemployment rate, which is about 16% at the moment, down to about 2 or 3%. Another thing that has been brought to light is the uh, high fibre network that is aiming to come into Auckland City soon. Do you think this will benefit Aucklanders? Oh, look, I think um, the, the fibre network or, or a super fast broadband um, is critical in schools and tertiaries for all of their searching, research work, to really make sure Auckland's economy is cooking and our youngsters have best access to the best digital technology. Uh, we need pace. He says youngsters, but we suspect aliens. Would you say it would benefit anyone else? Well, I can only speak for Aucklanders. But when I say anyone else, I kind of mean more people, more of a, um, life forms, more of a 
extraterrestrial nature. Uh, what would you have to say about that? <laughs> uh, well, I'm hanging out for those guys, actually. Um, yeah. One of these days I wouldn't mind meeting them, but you know, I think we, we definitely need to make sure that they come peacefully and not uh, for, for warlike intentions. So you think uh, aliens could be using this network? Oh, look, I, I, I think there's a distinct possibility. It's, uh, p potentially technology that the aliens, when they finally visit us, uh, might find useful. Um, uh, depending, of course, on where they are in the, the cycle of advanced technology and intelligence. What do you think about the existence of aliens? Oh, well, I, I, um, I'm, I'm hopeful there's someone out there. There are hundreds of millions of galaxies within the universe, and surely out there there must be someone like us. You say your goal is to make Auckland the most livable city. Uh, does that also apply to aliens? Absolutely. The most livable city in the world is the most inclusive city of the world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're inclusive of all people, whether they're from um, sort of Tanzania or whether they're from planet Aeon. What would you say about allegations that you are an alien? <laughs> I probably am. Uh, yes, I in fact come from uh, the planet uh, Aeon. I am not susceptible to kryptonite. Uh, some have referred to me as a, a super mere, uh, but it's not true. I'm just an ornery mayor from Planet Aeon, and I'm, you know, um, but fortunately not susceptible to Krypton. Despite Len Brown admitting to being an alien, we were still unsure of their existence. The only physical evidence of aliens that we had found so far was the thousands of videos of supposed sightings and encounters. So we decided to film our own alien encounter to see if it could be faked. So we're, uh, we're here to film the recreation. Uh, blew the budget on this uh, extremely, um, extremely realistic alien costume. So um, yeah, it should be good. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just get back up on that hill over there. Kia good evening. In breaking news tonight, a 17-year-old male is in hospital after being viciously attacked in Auckland's Mount Talbot earlier today. It is understood that he and videographer Jed Bradley were filming an alien re recreation for a documentary when 69-year-old Rex Hardwood, a UFO and alien activist, attacked the pair. He was later arrested by police and is awaiting trial for assault. In other news... Oh hey, just been here for the past couple of weeks, uh, recovering mentally and physically from my attack. The man who attacked me, Rex, the uh, man that we interviewed earlier on the show, he, uh, well, he, he's been incarcerated and uh, tried for his crimes. Hopefully I'll be out of here within a week. This investigation has been a long journey. I've met interesting people swum in a famous guy's pool, and even interviewed a real-life alien. But I can honestly say that I have learnt nothing.